just uh, briefly, off screen, I uh, got my way up to 100 super jumps. That's uh, that is the literal maximum that you can get, and it is uh, it was not you know legitimate. Yes, I scummed my way through that through and through, but uh, uh, there's no way I would have gotten 100. And mainly just to show you what you get. I heard your record for jumping stands at 100 right now. According to my source, it's impossible to jump more than 100 times. You've proven your point, so let's give this competition a rest. That nets you the Super Suit. The Super Suit is ridiculousness in kind. Plus 50 to attack, plus 50 to defense, plus 50 to magic attack, plus 50 to magic defense, plus 50 to speed. It is, without question, the best armor in the game. Not only is, that, is it all that, but it protects against instant death and is and blocks uh, magic, like the uh, lazy shell does. So it's basically lazy shell with less defense and more offense. I'm not going to be using it right now because although the lazy shell is pretty easy and to get legitimately, the super suit is not, and you know, it's kind of going to break the game. But I will probably use it at one point just to show off how big an impact it makes. That'll be for later. Anyway, just wanted to show if you are dedicated enough to try and get 100 super jumps, well, good luck with that. Hello again, Doc on the clock with more Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. It's time for Barrel Volcano. Now we're actually going to go in here properly, and do things properly. This has some pretty sweet music, so... And it's also got some pretty, uh... Interesting enemies. First off, over here, get a couple of flowers. And we have Pyrospheres. Here's a little bit of an example of the lazy shell. Huge giant shell, lots of attack power. And, uh, Samara's just gonna hog all the action here, so... I don't remember, did I show off the lazy shell before already? I may have, I may not have. So these guys will come and try to seek us out. And we have Chained Kong. It's a uh, gorilla color. I don't remember if he does anything at all anything different than uh, Chained Kong. We'll give him a quick chance to show off if he does. That wasn't going to do much damage to Gino. No we have uh, Gino equipped with the lazy shell. This is to maximize the healing that I can get from the princess. And because Gino's kind of a uh, glass cannon. Yeah, that's not, it's not going to cause any problem to jump off of the lava, is it? There's the hand cannon. It's really more of an elbow cannon, but uh, those are some pretty large uh, balls there. And yeah, you get you fall into lava. All it does is shoot you back to the uh, shoot you back to the beginning of the room. Then we have Magnus. There are recolors of Magmite from earlier. They are. Like Magmite, they have reasonably high defense, but not much of a threat. I guess to make the defense even higher in place of Galera. Anything else you can do though? Bonk the 
the head. Yeah, I don't think there's anything more that they really do. Mario doesn't care how high their defense is, he's gonna wall up them out. And they drop bracers. And, oh hey, there are dry bones. Except, you know, these ones are different. I don't know why I did that. Well, it's not like I was gonna really need them anyway. These ones are called the Vomer. I don't know what that's from. But, uh, it's what they're called anyway. Like, uh, like with the dry bounce, you need specials to take them down. You're getting way on the whole day. But, uh, unlike dry bounce, they actually have HP, so if you don't do enough damage with your special, you're not gonna take them down. Fortunately, the amount of damage that they have, the amount of HP they have, is not that great. So, not too much to worry about. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I do know I want to show them if they can do anything. I don't think they do much more than uh, the regular uh, spikies and spikesters. We'll give them one last chance. They don't do anything special. There's their needle attack, but that's about it. Alright, fair enough. Let's finish this off nicely. With a Geno Blast! Yeah. He'll take them all out without much trouble. Double your coins! I believe I might be. I am close to full of my coins. We'll be using some of those later, though. Hey, there's another flower. And armored ant. Attack power right now. 
Blazing Shell has kind of made him a uh, tank that can't do much damage. Hey, Bowser. It's an HP level for him. So you know what? I'm gonna swap out things for him. He's gonna get, get the Princess Lazy Shell. She doesn't have her best weapon yet, and she's not gonna be doing a whole ton of damage. Just switch those around so that Gino has some extra protection. Ah, that's what I was thinking was in that previous chest. All out, but I want to show you this guy. Pork Pedite. A very strange creature here. Pork uh, Pedite is uh, unusual. He has two. He's composed of two parts. Pork uh, Pedite and body. So the two cannot exist independently for a very long. If, uh, the, if the head dies, the body will use a self-destruct mechanism. If the body dies, the head will just disappear. But I have to show, actually, some things that he does first. Because attacking isn't all he does. Now Gino's taking damage. Now he's going to be able to dish it out. She can't heal very much now. What was once nearly a full heal was uh, is now a uh, kind of basically half. I know you do more than this. Please cooperate. If I need a full heal, I have Karo Karo Kolas up the wazoo. There we go. Not time. Sandstorm. Uh, first I'm going to show you what happens to a uh, body that is without its head. Use this migraine. But, uh... I think Mario's immune to instant death, so it doesn't really matter that much. Speaking of Mario, he leveled up. And we have some Orlicans and uh, Chain Nothing super special here. Princess isn't going to do much damage at this point. <laughs> but, um, the, the trade-off is that she's basically in full. And so, if you want to, uh... If you ever have, uh... If your other characters go down, she can just bring them back without any real trouble at all. Because her revive does, uh, is a full re her revive timed is a full restore, no matter what. It sort of negates what little challenge there is in the game, but, you know... Let's face it, it's an easy game. I'm full up on items. I need to use something. Got another pure water. Nothing really to use them on other than the waters. Easiest battle ever. I say that a lot, don't I? Pyrospheres. Well, 
anyone else get a chance to attack? I guess so. HP at this point. That guy up there looks very uh, interesting. And hey, it's a save point part way through. I think I'll save too. We're closing in on our flower one. This guy's gonna throw some enemies all over the place, but we're more interested in the stumpet himself.
the monster is getting furious. Yeah, he looks like a tree stump, but he's really kind of more like a volcano. Use the oh, backfire. It's not very effective. Special move, it is blockable. Va va boom. Looks exactly the same. I don't really know the difference between the two moves. It's got a fair bit of HP, but it's because it takes two turns to actually do anything. too often outside of their uh, respective existences. They sometimes appear as accompanying another enemy, I think particularly the Orlicans, but uh, it doesn't happen very often. He's just going to keep summoning those guys, so let's take him down. Last time we showed you defeating the head, now we shall show you defeating the body. Let's see if we can do it all in one go. We did it all in one go. All you need to do is just wait it out, because he will die the moment his turn, her turn comes up. Yeah, that's how that Care of a couple of these guys, too. All in all, I don't find the enemies in here to be too terribly difficult. Maybe it's just because, uh. It might be because I'm at a super high level, but. I never found them to be very difficult, even uh, in my earlier efforts. Alright, that's enough of that. Got another stuff. Oh hey! So they do have another move. <laughs> and Bilbo. Of course he's immune to status effects, so it doesn't matter. If all 
on items again? No, I'm not. Okay. I don't know if they care about uh, fire at all. Probably not. And I also don't know if they're vulnerable to fear. Let's do things a little bit different. Here's Gino Flash instead. This is getting furious. Oh no! Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. I'm just playing around a bit at this point. I think this might be the last screen before our uh, brief nature. Out of my inventory. Might have a replace with an energizer. Hey, now a level up. Gives extra attack power. Oh, here's one I haven't seen. Two bombers and a stumpet. So yeah, like. As with the Corkvidites, they can occasionally the stump is gonna occasionally appear with other groups as well. Just don't do it very often. Kinda like me and parties. Oh, well, peer I can appear there, but it's not gonna be all that often. It might not be all that often. Can you take her down, Peach? Yes, you can. This is Hinopio. He's a fire guy, fire themed toad guy. Hey there, real. I thought I heard the footsteps for a minute. I thought I was nuts. Well, there, you know, there are enemies right outside here, you? and you were kind of watching. I'm Hinopio. This place is a regular inferno. Come on, step inside. 